There is high tension in the world, most especially in the Middle East. You will remember that there is an attack from Iran to Israel, whereby they send hundreds of drones carrying weapons and they shot it into Israel. But the question is, what really happened? Why should they do that? Or why did they do that? Iran made us understand that Israel was the first one that committed the offense first. They committed the assault first by attacking their consulate in Syria. This has caused a lot of problem. Therefore, if you're from Luxembourg and you are on holiday, on a business trip to that region, please, the government here is warning that you have to be vigilant. Take care of yourself and be on the lookout because you never can tell what will happen after. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has also urged restraints between these two countries and the United Nations is warning that we should take care, that you should be careful and the two nations should be blamed for whatever happens in that region. So, Antonio Guterres condemned Iran and at the same time condemned Israel for the attack of the consulate in in Syria. But uh, the Australian ambassador to the United Nations is not taking it lightly. His own comment was that uh, Iran, Iranian attack has crossed every red line. But for we, the observer, we will ask ourselves how many war do Israel wants to fight at the same time? Fighting the Palestine at the same time, another war is opening somewhere. There's, for them, have every angle, there's, there's enemy for them, even in the US. So please note, if you are from Luxembourg, be careful where you go to and not to get caught up in this war, self-made war created by these people. So when is the world going to have peace? When is Africa going to be free? When is Middle East going to be free? When is Europe going to be free? Thank you for watching. Kindly like and subscribe.